Hello and welcome to Beamworks University. In this training video, we'll be looking at how your accounting team will complete payments in the In Progress tab so they can be submitted for approval to your payment authorizers. Payments in In Progress Rejected and Reset status will appear in the In Progress tab of the Payments module. The In Progress tab has the same functionality than the other tabs throughout the system. You can customize which columns and the order you want to display using the cog. You can choose how you want the payments to be sorted by clicking on the column header of the column you want to sort by. Double click on a row or click on the View Details button at the end of the line to open the payment, review, and complete it. Each payment will be mostly complete and you will only need to review it and potentially add or change a few things. The Payment Details screen is broken up into three sections. The Payment Details panel contains the information about the entire payment. It's also where you add comments. The Line Items table has the information about each invoice included in the payment. The Image pane shows you the images for each of the invoices. Once you review the information automatically populated, you may need to adjust a few things. Remember, only the current owner of a payment can edit the payment. If you are not the current owner, you'll need to change it to yourself first. If you want the payment to release automatically on a specific date, then select Auto Release from the drop-down and select the due date. Beanworks will release the payment on the due date for you. Only fully approved payments can be auto-released on a certain date. If a payment is not in approved status and the auto-release date triggers, then that payment will need to be manually released once it's in approved status. You may also need to change the bank name in the drop-down if you have multiple bank accounts for a legal entity. The bank account that the payment needs to be drawn from might not be the default bank account for that legal entity. The description field of the payment details is used to identify and search payments with a word or description in Beanworks. On the invoice line items table, you can add a memo to each invoice, which is a super handy little feature. It will be included in remittance emails coming from Beanworks to vendors for EFT ACH and virtual credit card payments and optionally on check payments if you choose to send a Beanworks remittance to vendors. You can use it to communicate an account number or invoice identifier beyond the invoice number so the vendor knows which invoice you're paying. Comments can be left on payments for your payment authorizers to review in the comments area, just like comments in the invoice module. If you need assistance on a payment before submitting it for approval, then write a comment with your question in the comments area, press Save Comment, and reassign to the person that can answer your question. Saving a payment is used for when you have edited your payment but are not ready to submit it for approval. Once you've completed your payment, you will submit it for approval to your payment authorizers. Once you submit a payment for approval, the next payment you need to review and submit for approval will load automatically. There are a few features that apply specifically if you're using an ERP that follows our ERP integrated workflow. This workflow applies for ERPs such as Sage 100, Sage 300, QuickBooks Desktop, and other common ERPs that use the Beanworks Sync tool, or ERPs like Xero and QuickBooks Online that have real-time connection possibilities through APIs. If you're not sure if you are an ERP integrated workflow, please email our support team at support at beanworks.com and they will clarify that for you. The ERP integrated workflow allows you to partially pay an invoice within Beanworks. If you need to partially pay an invoice, click into the current payment amount for the invoice you want to partially pay, change it to the amount you want to pay now, and the remaining amount will go back to the Create tab when you submit the payment for approval, so you can later create another payment for the balance. Similarly, you can remove an invoice from a payment by selecting that invoice and selecting Edit Delete. Deleting entire payments is also something that is available for ERP integrated payments. If you created a payment and you want to remove that payment, and send all the invoices in that payment back to the Create tab, then select Actions, Delete. Remember, these last few features are available only for the integrated ERP type of payment workflow, where the payments are created in Beanworks from the Create tab. All right, this concludes our training video for coding and submitting payments for approval. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, please contact Beanworks support by emailing support at beanworks.com.